This will be a quick walkthrough showing you how to get started with the matrix feta distribution. What you'll need are a Raspberry Pi, either the version 3 or 4, and a domain name. So to get started, uh, let's switch over to our Pi here. We're going to log in with the username Pi and password matrix. That's matrix all lowercase. That's going to fire up our install script here. It's just telling us to make sure that an Ethernet cable is connected. Next, it's going to check to see if we have an internet connection. This is going to give us some information about a NAT. This is going to tell us that our internal IP is this value right here. And it's going to remind us that we need to forward some ports to make this all work. Um, if I switch over to my browser here, I have an ASUS router, so you can see I forwarded the ports that it told me to all down here. Switch back over to our Pi and continue. Uh, next, it's going to tell us that our external IP is this value here, and we're going to want to set up some DNS records. Uh, there's a few different ways that you could do this. If you have a static IP address, you want to set up some A records uh, with just your external IP. Um, or if your IP address can possibly change, um, and if your router supports it, you could use something like DDNS. Um, and if you're using that, then you would want to set up CNAME records and point to uh, the subdomain that you set up in your router's uh, DDNS settings. Um, so, let's switch back over to our Pi, and let's continue. Uh, we're going to go ahead and enter our domain name. For this example, we are using dust array, dustarray.com. Let's just put in our email address here. This is for SSL certificate renewals uh, that get created by CertBot. Let's do that. Um, so now it's going to tell us that CertBot is going to be used to generate SSL certificates for dustarray.com, matrix.dustarray.com, and element.dustarray.com. So let's continue. So we'll go ahead and run some certbot commands for us. Let's see if they work. All right, uh, deployed our certificate successfully. And now it's telling us that certbot successfully generated SSL certificates. So now we can continue. And the setup script is just going to finish generating config files and a few other things. It's going to set up your Postgres database, and it's all done. So now it's just saying, uh, congrats, your server is all set up. Um, and uh, if we switch back over to our browser here, I should, if this worked correctly, we go to dustarray.com. Here's our uh, landing page. Congrats, your server is all set up. It says that we can visit element.dustarray.com to use your self-hosted Element client and create a new account. Um, also, if we go to matrix.dustarray.com, here's our matrix page. It works, it apps is running. So that's fantastic. So if we go to element.dustarray.com, here's our self-hosted Element that's running on our Pi. We can go ahead and create an account. Let's call our account, um, how about some test user? One, two, three. Um, come up with a password. All right, and we are logged in. Um, now, because the this uh, distribution includes a turn server, 
voice and video calls work. Um, it also uh, set up federation for us, so that's all working properly. So I should be able to send a message to my account over on matrix.org. Let's see. I'm signed in on my phone and I just got a notification. See you there. All right, and here we are. I should be able to write a message back. Hello. And there we are. So uh, my phone is just on uh, cellular data. I'm not connected to Wi-Fi or anything. And uh, if this is working, I should be able to start a call here. Let's see what happens. Let's go ahead and do a video call. Let's answer the video call on my phone. And we are connected. And we got feedback. As you can see, uh, video calls work, and uh, that's all there is to it. Now you should have a fully functioning, uh, fully functioning matrix server hosted on your Raspberry Pi. So uh, that's it. Have a nice day.